Hello, uh, welcome to a short uh, Center of Math basic series, uh, Tricks of Integration. For this series, we're going to cover topics such as uh, the tangent half angle substitution, integration with, with an arbitrary parameter, and integration using symmetries. So topics covering lesser, some lesser, lesser used integration techniques. Uh, so yeah, and if you're, interest, if you're interested in such topics, please check out our playlist. Thank you. So the tangent half angle substitution is a it's a really neat substitution because if you have something that's a function of only trigonometric uh, uh, things like sine x, cosine x, tan x, using the substitution we can turn that into a function of just uh, regular polynomials and fractions of polynomials. Uh, so, so we're going to consider uh, tangent x over 2, we're going to call it y. And we're going to see how we can write sine x, cosine x, and dx uh, as a function of just tangent x over 2, or y. So first for sine x, knowing that sine 2x is 2 cosine x sine x, or sine x is just 2 cosine x over 2, sine x over 2. Factoring out uh, a cosine x over 2 from sine x over 2, that's tan x over 2 times uh, cosine squared x over 2 times 2. Cosine x squared x over 2 is just 1 over secant squared x over 2. That's where we get this. And secant squared x over 2 is 1 plus tangent squared x over 2. So it's equal to this, which is 2y over 1 plus y squared. Now cosine x. So cosine x, uh, remembering cosine 2x equals 2 cosine squared x minus 1, or cosine x equals 2 cosine squared x over 2 minus 1. Uh, similar to the, our previous uh, things we did for sine x, cosine squared x over 2 is just 1 over secant squared x over 2. Uh, and secant squared x over 2 is 1 plus tangent squared x over 2. So we have 2 over 1 plus tangent squared x over 2 minus 1, which uh, we can rewrite a little bit as 1 minus tangent squared x over 2 over 1 plus tangent squared x over 2, which is just 1 minus y squared over 1 plus y squared. Yeah. Now, uh, saying y equals tangent x over 2, dy dx is 1 half, remaining the derivative of tan x to just uh, 1 over cosine squared x, so 1 half secant squared x over 2, uh, which is 1 half tangent squared x over 2 plus 1, which is, and then if we rewrite the, this a little bit, we can, uh, we can find what dx is. dx is equivalent to uh, 2 over 1 plus y squared dy. And so using these three, three uh, substitutions, uh, really one substitution, and rewriting these three in terms of tangent x over 2, we see if we have something that's just a function of uh, trigonometric functions, we can rewrite it in a way that just includes uh, polynomials. Uh, a rational function of polynomials. So uh, one example, let's show this works. So we're going to consider the integral of 1 over cosine x plus c, c is some arbitrary constant, dx, and we're going to make the substitution y equals tangent x over 2. So from what we saw previously, we can rewrite dx as 2 over 1 plus y squared dy, and cosine x as 2 over 1 plus y squared minus 1. So we're going to plug this in and mani manipulate a little bit. So uh, plugging in our substitution and writing out, uh, substituting for dx, cosine x, 
it becomes 1 over uh, 2 over 1 plus y squared minus 1 plus c times 2 over 1 plus y squared dy. So multiplying this, uh, manipulating a little bit, we, we end up with 2 over c plus 1 plus c minus 1y squared, factoring out 2 over c plus 1. Uh, the integral becomes 1 over 1 plus y times root c minus 1 c plus 1 uh, squared dy. Uh, so make another substitution, y uh, root c minus 1 over c plus 1 equals u. Uh, making that substitution, we have a, the integral, uh, so du equals dy times this constant, or 1 over the constant times du equals dy. So the integral becomes integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared times root c plus 1 over c minus 1 du. The integral of 1 over 1 plus u squared du is uh, commonly known to be arctan. You can also solve that via uh, trigonom trigonometric substitution. Uh, so then we got our answer, which is 2 over root c squared minus 1 inverse tangent of u, which substituting everything back in, we get 2 over root c squared minus 1 inverse tangent of tangent x over 2 times root c minus 1 over c plus 1 plus some constant. And so this is one way to solve 1 over cosine x plus c. Which once we make the substitution y equals tangent x over 2, this becomes pretty uh, mechanical. It's not very, the problem becomes easy after we make the substitution. And so really any rational function, if we have a bunch of sines and cosines up here, sines and cosines down here, using this substitution, we'll be able to turn it into some, uh, some just polynomial over poly polynomial. And we can use partial fractions and get an answer which shows why this substitution can be pretty useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please check out standardmath.org, check out our blog, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you like this video, please uh, check out the rest in our playlist. Thank you.